Pista and I'm really happy that you guys have stopped by. Today I'm going to be showing you how I edit my pictures, how to get a grainy effect. I have gotten so many questions on what filter I use on my Instagram or how I edit my pics. So basically I'm going to show you what apps I really like to use and what I do when I start editing a pic. So the first thing I like to do, well let's just like have a, let's have Let's just take a picture right now, like a selfie. I'm gonna take one right now and I'm gonna show you exactly the steps I do to keep my theme going and just uh, keep like a nice aesthetic on my Instagram feed. Now, I just started doing like a theme. Um, I always change it up. I don't know if it's a theme really, but like I like my pictures to be like a little bit saturated with um, a high contrast and a low brightness or a low exposure just because I like it a little dark theme so that's kind of like my thing I like also grain in it and I use about three apps if necessary so I'm just gonna take a picture right now and I'm gonna show you exactly what I do okay so I'm just take a selfie okay just took that selfie and now we're gonna get into the apps that I use so I have a lot of photo editing apps as you can see here that I that I use sometimes just just it just depends on the picture really if the lighting is bad I will go into Lightroom and lighten it up I think Lightroom is a really really good app if you want to lighten up a picture like with little increments so I'm just gonna put up the exposure see like it doesn't like overdo it so that's why I really like Lightroom um, another app that I really really like to use is Facetune Facetune is pretty cool I really like it especially if you want to add details, if you want to whiten up like walls. I don't really use a lot on my face just because I want it to look natural. I don't want it to be like overbearing, like oh my gosh, like your skin looks way too, way too good for some reason. So okay, so I'm editing this picture. Sometimes I go in with the, the smooth tool and I'll just do like a couple things to smooth out my forehead just a little bit. Nothing crazy, as you can see here, just like very small. And I like to smooth out just very little. I like to just do like, it's like applying makeup almost. Like when you're using these apps, don't like rub in like crazy. Like you can see my eyes like not, that's not, you're, that's not what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to do it kind of softly and kind of like just tap on it if anything. Kind of like you're putting on like concealer with your finger. So yeah, I just do a very little amount on my face just to make myself feel better. Then I smooth that out. Okay, sometimes if I want it to, be, if I want the background to look a little bit whiter, I will use the whiten um, thing and just like lightly do the background and then just go in closer to get a better detail. And I like to do it lightly as well, nothing, oh my gosh. That's if I want to do the whitening, but I don't think I really want to do it for this picture just because it will look not that well. Okay, so another thing I like to do is use the details tool and I just, like if I'm wearing like a cute outfit, I want to show the details obviously. So I just put it over like, I'm going to put it over this like little like um, wording, just very little, maybe like on the S, the P, just so you can see like it a little better. I feel like it looks really cool, maybe like even on the stitching. And you guys can play around with this. Um, I've been messing around with all these apps for kind of, like quite some time, so I kind of like know what I like, know what I don't. This picture is um, pretty well lit, so I wouldn't want to like change up the like the whiteness or anything crazy. And I'm wearing like a very like plain shirt, and my hair is already done and everything. So I'm gonna import this into another app and I like to use um, Visco or v v -S -C -O. I don't really know what it's like how to pronounce it but I'm sure it's, I just say Visco and I go into Visco and okay go into Visco and it, I import it into my studio that's what it's called in there and I really I like to use the filter a no no sorry I like to use the filter for, I think you have to buy this filter. I did the free trial and I ended up just keeping it the way it was. I never like ended it, so I was like, whatever. I like it. I always use um, the filter four or five. Just like all these number ones I really like. So I use four and I don't really want all of it. So I will just like put it in the middle for this picture. 
and then I'll lower the exposure just very little and I'll add some contrast I like contrast then I will go into the saturation tool and I'll just like put it up very little I like to use the highlights tool a lot I think it makes me look like I have some color then I go in with some shadows just very like lightly a little bit sometimes I go into temperature and like lower it just so I can look have like a blue tone and then I go into temperature oh wait, sorry then I go into tint and I like add like a little bit so as you can see it's changed a lot it looks way better in my opinion and then I go into grain which is the whole point of this video showing you how to use the grain um, Visco has a really cool grain effect. I think Instagram used to have a grain um, tool, but I think they took it off. So today, one of my friends was asking, like, how do you use, where, like, what filter has the grain filter? And literally, it's just Visco, just grain it up. So yeah, I just like put it up to like four, maybe 4.5 would be good. Depends how I feel. Like, if it's like totally ruining the pick, then no. So yeah, I just like put it up to like four. And then. There we go. That's a, that's my pick. And I just feel like it looks really cool. It goes with my theme. So we're going to save that to my camera roll. And I like to use this other app. It's called Unum. You get to organize your pictures. So yeah, I can, you can see here I have like my Instagram, like the little tool here when it says like Instagram on the bottom. That means that like it's already uploaded. So yeah, it's really cool. I love this app. Like you get to see like how it looks. If you post the picture, like you can move it around to see how it look on your grid. It's really cool. It's like organizing your Insta post and making it like making sure it looks good on the grid. So yeah, I'm just gonna upload this picture that I took. And as you can see, it kind of goes with it. Like it goes with my theme. It's like the same filter. Right now, my theme is not the same just because I'm doing the Kim Kardashian um, challenge. So I'm gonna actually pretend to archive these. Let's use a photo that I've already posted, okay? So we're gonna do um, one that I just posted recently and it was this picture right here. Okay, so the first thing I like to do is go to Facetune if I see like I have like a blemish on my face or I just really don't like my face. <laughs> So I'm going to go into Facetune and I'm going to click the one that I hearted. Okay, so now we're on Facetune and I'm going to see if I don't, like if I want to smooth out anything and I just want to do very little. I have like an insecurity. I have something here on my upper lip that I just don't know what it is. It's kind of like a skin tag or something, which is really gross. And I don't know what it is. So I always like to smooth it out just a little bit because I hate it. I like don't like it smooth it out like very little if you want it to look a lot more natural the, the trick is like get really close to the picture and just smooth it out and it will kind of go away so yeah it's about it and I like to just do a little bit of my forehead but like remember to tap it because we don't want to like be crazy with the smoothing thing a little bit on my chin yeah so like I didn't really do a lot, but you can tell like it's a little bit fixed. So after that, I kind of like to go into the whitening tool if I want it to look a little whiter in the back. So we're gonna like whiten it. Take some time, guys. This is embarrassing, but a lot of people, a lot of people do this actually. I've seen a lot of YouTube videos where like I kind of learned from like other YouTubers like how to like make your photos look like very vibrant and it doesn't have to be perfect because we're gonna go into Visco and change up the filter anyway so we're gonna open another app go to Visco import it yes um let's go back to Visco okay so we're gonna hit that and pick a filter that I love which is four I think I used a different filter when I posted it just because I wanted to try something else. So I like to use four, five, or six. I really like six, so let's do that. Let's do it like in the middle, 6.6. .6. Let's lower the ex exposure, higher the contrast. We're going to go to saturation. Let's amp it up a little bit, sharpen it. 
Ooh, that looks better than the, the one I posted. I don't know. Okay, I, got better. I got better at it. Okay, so we're gonna like hit up the highlights. Dang, I should have put it, I should have done this. Okay, so shadows, very little, just like a little bit. And then we're gonna lower the temperature, maybe like 0.3. Just keep it a little blue, and then we're gonna hire the tint. Then we're gonna use green just to give it a cool look. Sometimes I like to use nah, no, we're still do that today. Sometimes I like to use fade actually, just to like see, but I don't think I want to use that today. And bam, there you have it. And then I saved a camera roll. Always save it to large because when you save it to actual size, sometimes it doesn't like come out as nice on Instagram for some reason. I don't know, that's just it. Save it to large and you get to post it on Instagram, guys. That's exactly what I do. Um, I don't know, I have a lot of cool apps. If you guys want me to do a, like, a whole app video on like different cool apps that I use or different cool apps that I think that are really cool, I'm just gonna shout out one app that I think is pretty cool. I really like this app, it's called Huji. And it's like having a film camera on your phone. So I think that's really cool. Um, I think you can actually like see. So this is pretty cool. Uh, I'm just gonna take a picture of me in this water bottle. Yeah. And then you just take the picture, whatever, and it develops, which I think is pretty cool. And then you go to your lab and you see it and it looks like a Polaroid picture. So I think that's really cool. Um, I've taken some pics, like random ones, just to show you guys like random bathroom floor, my, my leg. I think it's cool. I just wanted to shout out, shout out that app just because I think it's like, Makes it really like retro and very, very cool. Might change up my theme to that, but we'll see. Yeah, guys, so I really hope you enjoyed this video. Um, a lot of the apps, I think, I think the only app you have to buy is Facetune, and then Visco has a lot of free apps for you guys to choose from. It depends on your style. If you like a really bright theme, I like personally like a dark theme with like a little bit of orange tint and saturation, so that's just my preference. Um, yeah, if you guys want me to do another video on how to edit different kinds of themes, I'm totally down for it. It'd be really, really cool. So yeah, leave your comments down below. If you guys want me to do another video like this, if you guys want me to shout out some apps, more apps that I have, because sometimes, like, those are like my top three, guys. Like, it's Facetune, Lightroom, and Visco, and that's about it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and that's about it. <laughs> Sorry, didn't mean to do that. Okay, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope that it was helpful, and I'll see you in the next one. Love y'all. Bye.